So I do want to unpack something that we kind of just breezed over and that's imposter syndrome because 70% of people have experienced this in their lives. That's a big number. And I, when I read up on this a bit, cause again, I've told you I've experienced that. Um, I thought it was really interesting to break it down. So I think sometimes when we understand how we got to where we are, it's easier to kind of say, okay, I can abandon this now because it was, it's ridiculous. And I understand how I got to feel the way that I do. I, I'll Take share with you. The, I know you really like this. So as you were saying, as you were talking, I also remember, like you asked me, do I ever feel it? it's like imposter syndrome? I think it's a really, so every once in a while, right? Michael's getting personal, <laughs> I know, people. I know, but you enjoy this. I do. So like, you know, every once in a while, you know, because people obviously in my position. I, I'm thinking like, how many years were we married before you were able to really like, it took me a really long time for you to, to be, be, to be open <laughs> with your feelings. So, so, you know, people, and this is just human nature, when you have a teacher, when you're learning from somebody, when somebody inspires you, you, you sort of build this, you, you, consciously or unconsciously build this sort of perfect person, right? And I know that I'm not perfect, right? And I don't ever purport to be perfect. And every once in a while I say, oh my God, you know, people, or this, even if somebody says something and then I, I have that thought for a second, you know, I'm not perfect. So what does that mean about the way they're perceiving me or the way I'm, I'm projecting myself? And then at the end of the day, what I really, what I really believe is that none of us are meant to be perfect. Mm-mm. We're supposed to be trying to become better and better all the time. And as long as it's enough for me, then whatever perceptions other people have of me, or you know, or they see me as as this, and if they knew that I, you know, was in this way, oh my God, what what would they think? You know, as long as it's obviously within the context of of me getting better all the time, it, you know, it becomes unimportant. And I think the point is that as long as you're happy with yourself, meaning not happy, meaning not desiring to grow, because hopefully we all desire to grow and change all the time, but you're you feel comfortable in the state that you're in and in the the push that you have to get even better and better, then hopefully, again, as it relates to what we were saying before, it begins to remove what others' perceptions of you might be and how that in- relates to how you either feel the need to be perceived or or want to be perceived. 